Welcome back to High Fleet. It has indeed been a while. Last time, we took out some more enemies. We're down to, I think, one or two strike groups. There's one in the area that we need to identify where they are. We last saw them here 140 hours ago. The enemy have no idea where we are, so I'm just gonna pause the game and let our team in Cumdag refuel while we talk about our next steps. After the last video, I put forth a, a request for reinforcements on my Discord and on the YouTube channel. And we held a vote on a number of community uh, design ships to be voted in to help the campaign. And the ship that won was a 180 millimeter variant of a ship um, put in by Nook. And thank you very much for the ship. We're going to be building that in this video and using that to push forward into Um, up to Ashdod, into Narad, and then making our way further north towards Nord, which is our next major objective. We're going to spend a little bit of time in the City of the Hidden People, but I am going to speed time up, so you don't have to sit and watch through it all. We'll just auto into Oh, it's our good friend, Son of Saini. Uh, we're not going to sit and, and watch me. I'll do like a time lapse as I build the ship, and we'll move on from there, and I think that's our, our next step. So we're just going to wait for this fleet to refuel. We're going to consolidate the City of the Hidden People. And the reason we're doing this is that our combat ships, Hitman 1, really isn't cutting it anymore, and it is the last of our light fighters left. Hitman 2 here at level 4 is a missile carrier. Um, Hitman 3, I think this is, has nothing going for it, and this Archangel we just picked up. We're going to be using a lot of parts from that Archangel in the build just now. Actually, before we leave Comdag, I should um, actually just grab a whole ton of supplies from here from the shipworks because we're going to need them for building the ship. Um, we're going to need D30s, so let's grab, I would say, we'll just grab all of them. I don't think I'm going to need all of them, but I think they're going to be good for the for the journey ahead. Uh, can I, there's no way to, if I right click, yeah, if I right click, I put them straight in my inventory. Um, I don't know if we're going to need large quarters. Uh, we probably will need some ammo parts. I know there's none for sale. So let's just grab all of those that we can. Um, anything else to buy here? I'm looking at our money, we've got tons of cash. Um, well, maybe just buy all the armor that's here as well. Just so that we've got it and we don't need to come back for it if there isn't enough armor where we're going. Fuel tanks, I think we're good on. We don't need any RD-59s. We don't really need NK-25s either for the design we're building. Um, I'm pretty sure it uses D-30Ss. It may use NK-25s. I'm certain. I'm certain. I'll, we'll grab them. Why not? We can sell them. They don't devalue on the move. Okay. That's everything we can grab. That costs us a fair bit of cash, but we can get more cash if we need it. Let's head over to the city and people and we'll get started on this build. Now, I am recording this on the new computer. This is the first game that I'm recording on it. I decided to go back to a classic and get high flip going. Um, unfortunately, I may have cooked my microphone with a bit of faulty wiring. It got very, very hot. So I don't have a replacement wire to test it with at the moment. So I'm using a different mic. Uh, so that's why it might sound a little bit different. Let me know what you think on the audio quality and how my voice sounds, because honestly, I have no idea really how this is gonna come through. I've obviously done some test recordings, but you hear me a lot more than I hear you, than I hear me, if that makes sense. So you'll, you'll probably pick it up faster than I do if there's something wrong going on here. All right, we're gonna to get to the city of the hidden people. Who is emailing us now? Um, it is a it is a encrypted message, probably from the strike group or a trade group running on this area. We're not worried about that at the moment. Another signal, this is gonna be a big thing as we're going through here. Another encrypted signal. We're just gonna let those tick through. I'm not interested in recording them right now. Okay, we have a Elin warning from the from towards Ark. That could very easily be that strike fleet. Uh, what do we have? We've got lots of rockets. Let's send an aircraft up to Ark and just see if there's anything going on up there. I'll just, just, just curious to see if there is something happening because that could tell us where that enemy strike group has gone to. And then while we're doing that, we'll get this ship rebuilt as well. I think it's called a Sunbeam. I should have taken the name down before I joined. I'm sorry about that. All right, let's see how we're going in Ark here. Let's just see how this goes through. There's a jump there because I alt tabbed accidentally. So there is something in Arc. I think it's just a trade fleet. It doesn't look like it's got anything particular. Let's just get out of its uh, out of its vision range before they can raise the alarm. There's just a trade fleet there in Arc, and I'm not that worried about it. Let's get on with rebuilding this ship. All right. First things first, we need to land. Um, we're gonna rebuild. I'm gonna leave Hitman One, our level nine ship built up for now and we're going to use hitman 3 for this build just because it's got a little bit of experience but i'm gonna leave hitman 1 as it is right now just in case i need it so we need to get this on the ground um, there's a 43 there we might be able to fit into uh maybe not when we go for that 35 this is very uh, bottom heavy this ship so it's gonna be a little bit hard to navigate down we should be able to get into the 35 easy just need to let, get it to land very very carefully so those missiles do not explode on the landing Okay, let's just slow it down a little bit, make sure we're nice and steady. We're going a little bit over to the right. 100 meters. 
Oops. That's not good. Okay, I think I managed to counteract it. We're just going to come down very gently here. And that gives us a little bit of a, of a build boost. Okay, we're down. No major damage. I'm pretty happy with that landing. We've seen a much worse first landings. Okay, what I'm going to start, do now is I'm going to start this build. And I'm going to speed time up. Uh, maybe put some music over it or something. So I'll see you on the other side of getting this together. We probably don't have all of the components here right now. Um, actually, I need to strip the Arch Archangel to do this. We definitely need the Sarmat off this. Uh, we could probably sell this one for more. Um, so I will strip this ship as well. We're not going to be using the Archangel, unfortunately, because it's it's not going to. We need a lot of parts from it. So I'm going to strip this, and I'll do the other ship, and we'll just speed up from there. All right, I'll see you on the other side. Thank you. 
Okay, that's what we've got for now. That is the uh, basic model of the Sunray. Uh, I think I've got that right. I'll check it after I finish recording here and make sure I've got it correctly. This ship is going to need a few things found for it. Um, it actually has uh, molots, not molots, it has vimples in these two slots, these four slots here. So I need to track those down. We're also missing some more fire suppressants to fill in some of these holes. And we're also missing, I'm not sure where, but I need to add some more power somewhere. Um, and possibly some more crew. So I'm gonna go back and check the, the main design. I can't refer to it while I'm in the build menu here, but that's at least, you can at least get this started. It's gonna take 146 hours for this to build. So while that's ongoing, I'm gonna send out some scouts. We're gonna try and pick up the vimples. We're gonna try and pick up the fire suppressants and I'll pick up some other stuff that we might need just in in the area. It's got, it, the total repair cost is 48,000, but we've already got most of the components this thing needs. Uh, its main armament is this uh, 180 Sarmat, and that's a very powerful gun, but against the enemies that we're facing, most of the opponents we're up against actually have Palash. Uh, we also need to get some Palash for this. I do actually have any Palash in my inventory at the moment. I do have two. So we'll, we'll add some of the Palash now, but I'll need to get some more of that if I can find it. Um, they all have Palash, which means by the time the Sarmat has reloaded, um, the Palash will likely have regenerated, which means that whilst this is aesthetically a very cool looking ship, um, it's going to struggle against some of the bigger ships that we make up against. But it is the ship that we, um, that was voted for. So it's the ship that we're gonna go with. So let me um, make sure I've saved this. Uh, we're gonna call this the um, is it the Sunray? I don't think it is the Sunray. I need to go and check the name. I'm really sorry, look. I had it in my head, but then I spent so long building this, oh God, that I um, have forgotten. So we need to go and find some Vimples. So let's exit out here. We're gonna need to send off some, we're probably just gonna send off our Galaxy. Um, actually, how far can Galaxy go in a full tank? It can't really go too far. It can get to Imgur. Let's see what is available for purchase there. And then we'll get our tankers with full fuel. Betharan's a, oops, Betharan is a fuel city. This is a radar city. Down here is a repair city. We've got time to maybe dip in and dip back out um, before it becomes too dangerous. And then we've got another tanker. We'll send this one. Uh, what I want is a site. This, this problem is I want to go to Ark because Ark sells rare components. But right now Ark has this trade group at it and I don't want to risk that. So we'll just try these two for now. Um, uh, I'm just mostly going to be spinning through the next 146 hours while the ship repairs itself. Um, so I'll probably just do like a fade in, fade out whenever something interesting happens. Um, like, what's that? Where's that radar? We've got radar up at UM as well. Let's well, let's send a plane up to UM and see what's going on up there. Didn't mean to click on that. We've got to be very careful here because every time we click, we're going to click on uh, a radio signal. So let's grab this. We'll fire off a ship with an AAM towards UM. Just see what's going on here. And maybe that we find a strike fleet. We actually get to engage a strike fleet in this video, uh, which would be pretty exciting if that does happen. Uh, so Morning. Radar emission detected. Still got radar emission coming from um, that's fine. They may be on their way to Imgur, so we need to be careful. So we're looking for Vimples, we're looking for fire suppressants. Oh, hang on. We actually have um we actually have radar emissions coming from Imgur, so let's pull back to see the hidden people to refuel. They're not continuing that mission. And let's just make sure I have actually it's, it's, I've noticed this a lot in this playthrough that clicking near the city is not getting me there. I think they'll make it, they'll be fine. But what we will do is we will actually launch another aircraft on a scout mission towards this city, just to see what we're dealing with over here. We do still have two KH-15Ps, so if we find ourselves in a position where we think we might be able to do something with them, I'm not gonna hesitate to fire them. But what I'm looking for here is where's the strike group? Okay, okay. We have found strike group Soyez. It is in UM, along with two other fleets. Um, they have launched aircraft to intercept our aircraft. Let's order them back to base first of all. So that is happening. Okay. Uh, the problem is, is there's a lot, these are probably two trade fleets. And uh, if I launch a KH-15P, which I don't even know if I have range for right now, um, there's a good chance they will hit the trade group. However, um, I do also have an A100 that will not have the range. The KH-15s have the range. The thing is the KF-15s are radar seeking, so they should seek onto the target that is emitting radar. Um, in which case, I think it's completely fine to launch these because um, there's no way that they should track onto the, um, the enemy aircraft. This will probably just be an alert. Yeah, we don't know what it says because it's encrypted. Okay, we actually have to turn and fight this plane, otherwise it may cause an engagement. 
Um, it's AAMs against AAMs. They hit each other, and they kill. Oh, we actually survived that engagement. Amazing. Doesn't happen very often. No, they survived that engagement. They were green for that engagement. Very confusing. Okay. Uh, everyone else is moving. Perhaps. They've landed with us, with us. Let's see what's going on to Imgur and Nail. If they've got a strike fleet up here, what is here? This is just an N. What's an N? Uh, that's just a, a standard attack group, I think. Let's just... They're actually taking off. What, what is this? It is a... Oh, it's a missile carrier. Okay. Let's see how much bullying this plane can do. I've not heard that alarm before, I don't think, in all of my hours of playing High Fleet. Isn't that crazy? So we could, we could probably take this thing out with a rocket strike if we needed to. I mean, it is, it is a missile carrier and it will be a big problem. So maybe just launch a couple of planes with rockets at it, take it out, and then it's out of the equation. Or we could send Hitman 1 to deal with it. I'm wondering if this plane could actually do anything because it's, it's, it's got a lot of fire right now. I think this is a triumphant, or the triumphant redesign for this campaign. It's just getting bullied by this aircraft right now. It's actually crashing at the moment. It is actually going down. If he still has the ammo, he's gonna get the kill. Don't retreat yet. Good, okay, we've got the kill. He's gonna hit the ground in a second. Yeah, that's a kill. That thing's destroyed. Destroyed by an aircraft with just a machine gun. The enemy has been destroyed. And they have indeed press. Okay, that's a nice little win for us. All right, that has set off the sound of strike alarm, unfortunately, I guess it's because we spent so long there um i guess it's time to go loud ish let's launch some aircraft i'm going to send up what i'm going to do is i'm going to send up two with rockets and i know we've talked a lot about the correct distribution actually we're going to send out aircraft with aam first then two with rockets and then two with rockets i'm going to wait a little bit and then two with rockets no just two nope come on Two with rockets. Another one with an AAM. And then two with rockets. And then two with rockets. Warning, radar emission detected. And two with rockets. All right, what are we picking up? We've got radar coming in from all three vectors. That's fine. Let's see what we can actually hit here. If we can do any damage at all, that would be pretty cool. Our radar-seeking missiles have found a target. So the strike group, well, what is this? That can't be the strike group. The enemy has been destroyed. That's another missile carrier, but it, it, had, it had radar and it has been killed. The other radar-seeking missile has not tracked onto anything. No, it is not detecting anything. Oh, it has found, no, it's been shot down by aircraft. So it's quite possible that the strike group have retreated from the city. This is why we sent, sent a plane ahead with AAMs. You got two for one there, it's not too bad. And they've used up their... It looks like they're launching from behind the city. No, the strike group is still here. Soyuz is still here. They're just not giving out any radar. Fascinating. Well, let's see what damage we can do with some missile strikes. And uh, if nothing else, it'll keep them stuck there repairing. There's another aircraft coming out to intercept. It looks like it's going after our aircraft here, though. Okay, this is a big strike group. Oh my goodness. This is a very large strike group. Lost another aircraft there. Did some decent damage there. Okay, we're not going to be able to take this out with what we've got at the moment. No way. We can do some damage to it. This is a really nasty strike group. I might actually just recall all of our aircraft because I don't think committing anything more to this is a good idea. Um, let's see what damage we can do. Oh, you, you can retreat. I didn't realize you were an AAM user. I hadn't actually meant for you to click onto the city. It does get a little bit confusing when you've got all of these, these aircraft dancing around. So you have an AAM. You can intercept them. You can try to. Oh, now we don't have any missiles. Okay. So we lost the missiles in that engagement? Oh, no. That's the left of a ship with rockets. Damn. Okay, that was my bad. That was a, a bad redirection. It should have been this plane here, I think. Oh no, we actually won that engagement. What am I talking about? So confusing when the colors switch. We should, we're always blue, I need to remember that. Not green. I mean, solid hits here, but the amount of e the amount of palash is making this a little bit harder. They're gonna, yeah, I say, they're gonna crash into this ship here. 
If nothing else, it's going to tie this fleet up for a while. But I don't think we're going to do that much damage to them. And these guys all have rockets. They're going after the unshielded ship this time. That was some great hits. Huge explosions. The ripple effect on that was I've never seen that before because this machine can actually has a graphics card. Oh, I love High Fleet. How cool is this? And our aircraft get away. This ship here might actually be in a bit of trouble. If they hit this one again, we might be in luck. Looks like they're going for it. God, those flashes are bright. I love them having to weave through the other ships. Some pretty fancy flying, especially in formation. Imagine if he'd hit his teammate there. I've seen that happen before. Okay, I think that's the end of our attack, unfortunately. That's all we've got for right now. Oh no, we've got, yeah, it's the end of our attack. All right, so that's all we've got at the moment. We've done a little bit of damage to them. We've locked them down there. What we can do, oh, go away. What we can, I wish I could delete these. Can I actually use the rubber to delete these? I never tried that before. No, I can't. I wish I could delete these messages because they are starting to just overwhelm my screen. Let's get you refueled and back on your way to Imgur because I really need you to find equipment for me. You've arrived here. Let's see what you've got to buy. Um, so we've got, we'll buy all of these because we need, we need lots of those. Um, I'm going to get some more NK-25s just in case we lose any to attrition. And I'll get some more D-30s, uh, D-30Ss as well. Again, just to make sure, just, I know I'm burning through cash right now. Uh, I don't think I need any more quarters or generators. I'll, um, I don't think there's anything else here I actually need. This is, this is the main thing I need from here. There's nothing else I really need to get my hands on. Um, let's grab ammo just because I don't have any available. And let's get out of here. We're not even going to stay to refuel. Um, so you can just fly back to the city of the Hidden People. Okay. And that's that mission complete. I'm going to have to ask the, someone for some more cash in a minute. Um, I don't really want to ask for funds. Issy's available. We've always got the Prince who's at... Actually, it's worth asking the Prince because he's at four stars right now. And that can only go... Like, if I don't do anything, I might waste an, uh, an uptick of that. But we are... We did just burn through a lot of money buying all the stuff. But it's stuff we don't have to pay for later, is, is, is my reasoning behind it. I also have a lot of stuff in the city and people I can sell if I need to that I'm not going to be using, like equipment from the Archangel that I've taken apart. You might be asking me why I'm not using the Archangel. It's way too slow. It's a great ship. It's really well designed, especially this new design of the Archangel. It's just too slow for my use. It's a great defensive ship. It's not a great offensive ship. And, and offense is what we need to be doing. Okay, we're landing in Imgur. Let's see what we've got available to us here. I'm hoping there's some Vimples. I really need some Vimples to finish this build. Uh, what have we got? Oh, there's nothing here. Absolutely nothing. Quarters, engines, chassis parts, fuel tanks. That's very disappointing. Um, let's refuel. Actually, we've got tons of fuel. Uh, we have tons of fuel. We can head out to Cumdag, which is a refueling station. Um, that's really it. I really want to get to Ark, but unfortunately Ark Last time we checked, Ark had a fleet. Go away, I don't want to click on you. Let's see if I can do a flyby on Ark. Ark has been, we've captured and lost Ark so many times. <sighs> All right, let's get you out of Imgur Emil for now. What, what I could do is just in the meantime, um, for this ship, I do have AK-100s, Molots, the problem is the AK-100s need, um, they only need one ammo, and I have, how much ammo free do I have? I have four ammo free, so I could equip, I could go um, one, two, three, four, and I could use AK-100s, but that has now absolutely destroyed our power, um, which is a problem. I need to get some more generators in here to make this work. Um, I actually probably need a couple of big ones. But there's nowhere to really fit them. I'm not sure where. I'm definitely missing some uh, some generators in this design. I'm just not sure where. Um, I could sneak another two in here that we are cutting into the amount of um, fire suppressants this ship has. Though, if, if I do that, I mean, I could I could sneak another couple. What I could do actually is I could 
remove this, remove this, remove this, remove this. And I can put two large generators, one here and one here. That gets up to 93%. Um, and then I could put the, where are the small ones? Oh, the small ones are here because I've, I've technically bought them. Um, the small footprint. I could do this and this. That gets us to 104. And then I just need to replace the two fuel tanks I've removed. So I could put, oops. I could put, well, damn, I did the wrong thing. I could put one here and one here. What that does mean though is we only have four fire suppressants in this build. Um, there are slots for Palash. In fact, these are supposed to be Palash slots, but they, uh, they, they are when I rotate. Um, there are slots for Palash in this build. Um, I'll put the two side ones on um, because that's probably the most important points. And we just need to let this build now. Um, so we're going to have to let some time just kind of take over at the moment. Um, when we don't really do anything, we're going to have to wait like a, a week. What is it? It's like two weeks. Is that right? 72 hours in a week. Yes, yeah, two weeks of building is going to get this ship built. Um, so what I'm probably going to do is I'll just fade out and fade back in when that time has passed. And I'll see you once this ship is ready to go. And we're ready to move on again. So um, I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back in it. And um, I'm just going to let time flow and record in case anything happens. If nothing happens, you won't be seeing this footage. If something does happen, you will see the footage. I just don't want to miss anything. So I just got the recording running while I let time spin forward. Um, I'm not sure about this ship heading to Imtra. I wonder if I just send it over to... Should we check Comdag and see if there's anything available at Comdag? I just, just, I just feel like we're maybe missing something obvious. I want to find myself as many weapons as possible just now. We may even start flying further south. I mean, we've got what... Um, Kushan could be worth going for. In fact, that's what we're going to do. We're going to get Galaxy. Um, and we're going to fly it to come down. It's going to refuel there and it's going to head down with this fuel ship to... Um, in fact, there's no point sending Galaxy to do that. This like, Galaxy is really slow. We're not going to bother doing that. We're just going to send uh, this guy down. I'm going to ignore these radio signals for now. Let's just see what we can do. We'll obviously need to wait for the alarm to raise. We've got ages for repairs to happen, so let's just let time tick forward. All right, I've been letting time tick forward and this event has just triggered. So as we know, we're sitting around doing nothing. Things are gonna happen. I was wakened in my cabin by a messenger. Admiral, sir, the Grand Duke has asked you to come to the bridge. Something was wrong with the ship. The crewmen in the wheelhouse looked distressed and confused. Their eyes are vacant, lost in thought. And yet he was completely calm. A stark contrast to the rest of the room that I found oddly fascinating. Just how awesome is this artwork? Like, I love the artwork for this game. I wish there was more of it. Uh, we can see Dowd coming in through the hatch there, and I'm pretty sure that's Mark sitting in the commander's seat. But when I looked at the porthole, I saw the reason for their alarm. According to the clock, the sun should have been rising, but the world behind the glass was pitch black. The ship's searchlights were weaving around frantically, scouring heaven and earth in a vain attempt to slice apart the all-consuming darkness with their narrow beams of man-made light. Fleet morale, minus three. The sun has no longer risen. The men are scared, Mark. You need to do something to reassure them. You must address the crew, Duke. Duty calls. I want to hear from you first. What are your thoughts, gentlemen? This can only be a solar eclipse. Tell the crew it will pass. The nuclear war to the south could have kept, clicked up a cloud of ash. An enormous cloud of ash. Assemble all hands, I'll speak to the men. Half an hour later, you find yourself standing before a massive murmuring crowd. So I have a faith check or an order check. If we have a look here, my order is zero, my faith is zero. When your faith and your order are zero, there is only one option. You must just believe. Brothers and sisters, faith check failed. The men look up to you in surprise. They did not expect you to begin like this. I can say this is the end of the world for a fifth, uh, faith check of 25%. I can say the sun has been eclipsed by some unknown celestial body for a Garrett check of 25%. Or I've got the Romani in, in my pocket here. Dust and ash from the nuclear war to the south have reached us and blotted out the sun. Check Romani 100%. You see several frontline officers nodding along. The ashes of the cities have risen up to block the son of Garrett, and I tell you this, my fellow Romani. Somewhere in the crowd, a woman's solitary sob slices in the silence. 
I swear to you that this squadron will keep moving forward until we have fully retaliated against the enemy. Until Kiva is ours, we will seize Kiva's plutonium and we will use it to scorch the cities that have betrayed us from the face of this planet. The crowd is utterly silent. And then we will rebuild the empire. We will rebuild the empire on the graves of those traitors. This I swear for the honor of our fallen brethren. We will rise again. Romani checks success. The crowd roars in ecstatic approval, drowning out your final words. That is all. Return to your stations. Okay, we passed that particularly dangerous check without too much of a problem. From now on, the game will only be played in night. There is no more daytime. Why is that? We never find out for sure, but we all know that the truth, right? It's just a cloud of gas from a cloud of ash from the south. That's the real reason it's nighttime. I'll fade back in if something else happens. For now, we're just heading. I'm just heading south to look for more components for finishing off the ship. Attention. Visual contact. Speaking of things that could happen, uh, a plane has just entered visual contact with the um, hitman that we're sending south. I think the only option we have here is just to keep flying and hope it doesn't intercept us. It is coming to intercept. How on earth did it find us? It's doing a flyby. It's engaging as it has rockets. This is just a an airship. We're gonna boost up hard. Oh, they're countering. We have to wait. Now. Okay, trying to drop bombs on this, but we dodged it. It's still got a bomb, so it's gonna come back. Where did this guy come from? There must still be active aircraft carriers in the south. I assume the area will be pretty safe. It's obviously not. Is he coming back for another bombing run? Or is he leaving? He's leaving, okay. That's just triggered the sound of strike alarm again. Let's hope that um, we don't get attacked too much. Luckily, this, this airship is incredibly fast um, and it is moving in a directory away from the rest of our fleet. So if it does get destroyed, it's not the end of the world, but I wouldn't, I prefer not to lose it. We'll come back via Yazid, I think. We'll go Yazid, Betharan. Like, we'll come, we won't take this direct route north. There's obviously someone still in this area um, causing us a little bit of an issue. But let's get to Golgobaz. From Golgobaz, we're gonna refuel and we're gonna head to Tushan. In fact, we're not gonna refuel on this run to Golgobaz. We're just gonna head, well, actually, we need to. We're gonna head to Tushan. We're heading to, to Tushan because it is a rare module merchant. We also have Massif. Um, and yeah, I'll fade in if anything else happens. I'm just going around buying stuff. It, it's not the most exciting content. Well, here it is in all of its glory. The 180mm Sunray, as voted for by the community and designed by Nook. First of all, thank you all for A, taking part in the vote, and B, Nook for designing the ship. It is a very cool ship in terms of its looks and its feel. However, I would say in terms of its uh, compatibility with this campaign, maybe not so much. Uh, <laughs> um, I've actually gone a little bit over the design because th there's a, a bug with the shipbuilder where you show us under power. So I've actually added some generators to it that it doesn't need. doesn't really matter. They're already in it. Um, we've got four Vimples on here. So 57 millimeter cannons, pretty good for shooting down incoming ordnance. All right on mass at taking care of heavy enemy armor. I don't think we hit the right n amount of mass here. As you can see, unfortunately, the placement of this cannon does block them slightly, so we need to be careful about that. And then we do have the Mark II 180 Sarmat, which is a double-barreled 180 millimeter cannon, which does pack an absolute punch in combat. The problem that we may find is that it doesn't really have a great reload speed. So it's not gonna be able to dish out enough damage to potentially take out the Palash on the enemy when we deal with them. But this is the ship you voted for. This is the ship we're gonna go with. We're gonna make the best job that we can with it. Um, we've got eight NK-25s, we've got four D-30s. It's pretty maneuverable, it's pretty fast. Range of an 890 kilometers is pretty nice. Um, 2.6 for thrust to rate ratio. It's a cool ship for a vanilla campaign. I think it would do great. I'm just not sure how we're gonna do here. So while we've been sitting here spending time just kind of working out, getting our ship built up. The enemy have been flying around. Uh, we've been triggering a lot of, um, of radar contacts. So what I want to do is I'm just going to send out a planes to all the cities around us and just see if they're safe to go to and if that strike group is anywhere nearby. Because if it is, we're going to end the video by hitting the strike group. That's my plan. I've, just, I've been ignoring radio signals. There's, they're all just encrypted communications um they will go it will stop beeping in a second i promise um and i and it's just it's just trade ships moving around there is okay we paused the game i'm not sure what the pause was for uh, but i will unpause it not sure we had a pause moment there 
but let's see what we've got. So we're gonna hit arc first and imgur, and then um, by the looks of it. Okay, nothing at arc, so that's a potential forward move. Okay, we've got two aircraft carrier groups coming out of the city, to, uh, out of imgur. We've actually bumped into one of their planes, but it hasn't got any um, AAM, so it's dead, uh, which is nice for us. Uh, and he will automatically recall. So we found, what, three aircraft carrier groups over here. Uh, looks like they're transferring between Imgur and looking at their direction, maybe Yazid. So I'm actually going to launch another plane to Yazid just to see if the strike group is maybe down here. Um, nothing going on. Okay, we've got, we've got what looks to be a trade fleet at Um, so that's nothing to worry about. I would like to see what's down here before I make any plans. We haven't triggered any sign of strike alarms right now. As long as we're not actually attacking anybody, we're perfectly safe. What I might do is move a fleet up to Ark. Um, but I would like to just work out where the strike fleet is before I make any potential moves. What I'll do with this fleet, the ship plane that comes to Yazid, I'll fly it back towards um, Imgur and just see. Okay, nothing going on at Beth Haran. Beth Haran, I should say. That's the correct pronunciation, I believe. Can you please, this is probably an Al Asir. Yeah, it is. Sorry about the constant dipping. I should have got rid of, that, rid of that a while ago. Let's see if there's anything at Yazid down here. Judging by their course, I think they were heading for one of these two locations. It'd be really interesting if we found the strike group. I have to say that would be pretty great. Okay, nothing is going on at Yazid. Um, so I guess we move north, and I guess that means that we get our new ship to do that. So let's get a strike group together. We'll get the sun ray. We'll get a couple of hitmen in here. Um, and that's enough of thrust, so we'll thrust up and we'll send them off to capture um. I actually brought put Galaxy into this group, but that's fine, that gives us some, uh, some anti-radar. And we'll see how it does in its first battle. We just I've got another radio signal, I am just going to auto intercept, it is encrypted, we're not looking at those right now. And what I'll do with the people left behind in the City of the Hidden People, we will get them to just refill their fuel stocks. Okay, they are actually at full fuel, excellent. So they just these guys are just taking the fuel they've got and moved on. Okay, and we'll just wait for them to get there. Fun if we actually ran into the strike fleet when we got here. Uh, it would not be funny, just FYI. To all ships, warning, unknown contact, range 400. Interesting. So they nearly heard us coming. We've got visual, who has visual contact on what? Nobody has visual contact on anything. There's not like a ship I've missed somewhere. Where is this visual contact coming from? I do not have visual contact on anything. There's nothing on IRST. It's got to be this fleet here. I'm just very confused. No, okay. The visual contact is incoming missiles. Um, so I think we, we've definitely found something. Um, let's see what we can do to, to intercept these. Oof, that was a hit to our fuel carrier. And now we don't have enough fuel to make it. We have enough fuel to continue to the target, which is what we're gonna have to do. Okay, no more missiles are incoming. We did actually lose the, the ship. No, we lost, we lost Galaxy. Galaxy's finally down. Damn, just a random miss up. Would you shut up? This thing is driving me crazy. Sorry, I didn't mean to get that frustrated at that. The beeping just, I just wish I could turn off my radio. Okay, we've got another missile. We've got aircraft incoming. We can take care of aircraft, no problem. Well, the Sunray should be able to make good use. Quick, quick, quick work of these. One of my escort ships is just doing its job here. And let's just shoot down. Nice. to hit um i'm thinking this is just a garrison that we're about to engage this is not going to be a silent strike by the way we're, there's the there's the the um aircraft carriers to the south of us launching in so we have to take care of these incoming aircraft as well oh that's not nice ah we're fine what i'm going to do is i think I think we're going to have to do something about the aircraft carriers to the south of us as well. They're going to be a continual threat. Although I think they'll fly towards us, so we can just wait for them to come to us. Attention. Okay, we've got another missile coming in from the west. I should shoot that one down. Attention. Visual contact. 
Okay, we found a lot of stuff. This is gonna be nuts. Get ready for seriously hard contact. Not doing too great at these interceptions, unfortunately. Okay, got another aircraft coming in. And this is what happens when you go loud in this campaign. This is why I've been focusing so heavily on stealth for the whole thing. Where, where's this aircraft? Oh, there was some heavy hits on the Sunray. Not great just before we hit the, uh, hit the garrison. But here we go. Combat is about to engage. No, nope. might have another missile strike beforehand. No, we're in. It's a bigger problem. And this ship's struggling with about amount of firepower coming at it. Yeah, that's one down. At least I've got access to uh, um, fire extinguishers with this ship. Big hits on the side. We haven't pierced the armor yet, though. As soon as I can hit with these 180mm, we'll be okay. Yeah, that's that ballistic down. Let's take care of this one up here. This is a Sarmat. Ooh, that just missed. Come on. generated by accidents, that's fine. We can afford to put some ablative generators on this ship. How is this ship still alive? Okay, still alive. Okay. So I take care of a courageous. We've got two prize ships on the battlefield now. The Kadesh Mark I and the Windy Lady is here. With her million, this, th this thing is loaded with missiles. It has so many missiles. Trying to focus here. Got a lot of stuff coming in at us right now. Courtesy of all of you wonderful shipbuilders in the community. Thank you for doing this to me. <sighs> that hit a price ship. I actually really need this money because building this ship has bankrupted me. Okay, so where's we, we need? I need to find the rest of the combat ships. Ow, that was pretty nasty. We've got a ballistic here. Oops, something just blew up. It wasn't you, no. You're just fine. I'm worried the windy lady might have crashed. I think he just hit himself with his own missile. No, the Windy Lady is still here, and launching missiles terrifyingly close to that uh, other trade ship. Well, at least the ship can stay in a fight for a while. All right, there can't be that many more gar gar garage ships left, can there? left come on what happens if three price ships join the battlefield at the same time look at this oh no the price ship finally burned out that's our fault for doing it with that 150 millimeter earlier victory we lost 13 crew okay well that was a, that was a fight and a half uh, level up for the sunray though uh, let's get veteran med med uh, engineer we got 12,000 from the captured ships. I actually don't care about any of this, but we will get the fuel tanks. Here comes a missile that we knew was coming. Thank goodness I've got the support ship here. I'm gonna lose a fuel tanker. Lost the bridge, that's a fuel tanker gone. Attention, visual contact. 
We've got more incoming, aircraft incoming, missiles incoming. Um, all right, we're in a pretty tragic situation right now, but this is what happens when you go live, and I knew it was gonna happen. I'm gonna leave this video here. High Fleet is back on the menu. We're gonna get through this campaign, and I'm gonna show you what happens next. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry I kept you waiting so long. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now.